Hi everyone, I'm Nathan. Welcome to another very exciting tutorial on the brand new Easy Worship 6 worship presentation software. I had a request for a video talking about the live video feed and the logo button inside Easy Worship 6. Okay, so when the program loads up here, we will click on the media button and we're going to go over to the images category and I'm going to right click on this uh, Easy Worship 6 exit video here and I'm going to set as logo background and I'm going to go over my songs and let's just import our God here water you turn into wine and double click on it and send it live so we're in the middle of the service and you decide you want to hit the logo button doesn't matter what you have on the screen the logo button will be on the top layer the logo button will be the top layer of the anything that's underneath of it so turn logo off there we can also click black and change it make the screen go black or when you have text up, you can hit clear. Or text that Easy Worship put in it, you can hit clear. Go back to the logo button there. Okay, so now we'll go over to media, and we'll just hit the plus button here, and that will bring us into the feed editor. You can also right click on it and select uh, new feed. So in the feed editor, we'll just name the feed uh, laptop camera. Not a very exciting name, but not a very exciting feed either. So uh, we'll just input the device here, the True Vision. Uh, we can change the name, change the logo of it. So if you're coming in from a mixer, that would be an exciting feed. Or a DVD player or whatever. We'll just go back to camera because that's what it is. Uh, the resolutions here, the frames per second, how many pictures a second it is, the different this because there's no sense to have an audio on the feed because we're not going to be using that for anything. Uh, we'll click OK. Now we'll just double click on our feed. And we've got to turn off our logo button here so that our feed shows up. Make this full screen. Hello, how are how is everybody today? Okay, so we'll just command uh, control space bar on that, and we'll black that out. Okay, so now if we need to edit our feed, we can just hit edit feed, and now we can change the name of it. So like laptop feed, you know, whatever we want to do, if we, whatever we might need to change that. Click OK. Okay, so now obviously if you want to use a feed, you might need to use you might want to put it on the back behind words. So we'll click over on songs. So let's do Amazing Grace My Chains right here. And we will go over to media and we're going to select that feed in the feed category. And we'll drag that over to it. And then we'll just double click on that song to send that live. Oh, that's nice. Hi. Hello, everybody. Okay, so let's go over to uh, themes while we're at it and we'll select the, the lower thirds theme and we'll uh, drag that to the song and apply it and double click. And now we've got our song, our lyrics down on the bottom. That will work a lot better. So, if, however that will help you out. So you can use themes to place the lyrics anywhere on the screen. So if you've got something on the right, you might want to put the lyrics on the left and however you want to do that. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that sings I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it wasn't exactly what you were looking for, please leave a comment in the description and I will see what I can do to make a video specifically for your needs. Also, check out some of my other videos as you go to create your next Easy Worship schedule. Have a great day!